gymnastics. I had to pretend I was 13 <laughs> or no, 16. <laughs> oh, in my uh gymnastics in my 30s. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> but uh what do you call it? Um so I listened to songs back to when I was a teenager. <laughs> Just to play the role. Yeah. <laughs> I think Fantastics. There was there was a song from the Fantastics that I had to do for <laughs> my voice teacher. And I it's like I can see it. I can see it in my mind, but I can't it's not crazy. I think like if some if someone started playing the melody, I'd be like, right there, you know? Um yeah. that's a fun show. Oh, yeah. Oh. Add a brain fart. <laughs> it's like brain go bleh. Yeah. That's all right. I've been there. I'm, I'm right there with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that is, like, I don't know about you, but I feel like the spooky season has flown. Oh, yeah. I feel like it was just September. And now I'm like, wait, what? We have 11 more days until Halloween. <laughs> what? I'm not ready. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, totally. I wasn't ready. <laughs> but I um for Halloween. I haven't even decided yet. It's like ah. Um I have my uh my Undertaker uh cosplay. Nice. <laughs> oh and you got the gloves. That's awesome. Yeah. So that's super cool. <laughs> but um, what do you call it? I also have a Chewbacca mask. <laughs> and like my puppy was like this. No. <laughs> I was just like, nope, I'm afraid of that too. <laughs> yeah. And Tilly was like. <laughs> nice. But Seely just came up and just was like, I think he has food. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, does my human have food? I can, I can. Yeah. <laughs> All aside for food. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, what do you call it? Um, it was also, um, uh, there's that brain fart again. <laughs> Must have been a lot. <laughs> but, uh, uh, oh, it was, um. Uh, the other show that I did, um, what was it? Oh, is it when I did uh, a show uh, on Valentine's Day, and I had to sell cosmetic and products and stuff, and I was an inventor. And as the inventor, uh, I had to go up to people and sell stuff. And but um, I remember one guy in our cast member; he would always sit by the hors d'oeuvres and just like eat and like. And like you have to mingle, and he's like, he's like, oh, I'm just eating. I'm like, you can't take the table with you, and just <laughs> <laughs> all right it is a large wooden table. You just cannot. <laughs> Not a tomb table. <laughs> I know. I was just gonna be like, he can just back and just carry it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I had to sing "Hungry Eyes," uh, the song. Uh, you know when they like. I feel the magic. I feel the magic between you and I. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Ah, oh, it takes me back. <laughs> and so I would sing it to this uh, this character, and I go, I feel the magic. She'd be like, There's no magic. I feel the magic. <laughs> <laughs> she would like run away. <laughs> I would do like this motion. <laughs> I love it. I was actually um, speaking of musical theater. There was a conversation. I think I was having it with. I think with my dad. Actually, we were talking yeah. about the fact that with performing arts, especially like with like movies and stuff, like you know how you have like the actors can come in and they can do like the scene, they can cut and edit and yeah. you know, copy, basically copy and paste. But in theater. Mm -hmm. You're one and done. You you have to nail it right the first time or oh, have know. improv, you know? <laughs> so I feel like My every actor should go <laughs> through like musical theater oh, to be yeah. a you know. Um so it would be like uh 
what do you call it? Uh, we used to have an actor named Johnny P. And Johnny P, he would sometimes go, if you just forget, just say la, 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 la. <laughs> yes. I go, I go, because that's exactly how we would sign the direct declaration of independence. La, 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 <laughs> la, la. <Yeah. laughs> Everyone succeeds. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds good. <laughs> La la la! I added some extra stuff in here. La la. <laughs> a couple of asterisks. Don't don't mind those. They're fine. <laughs> la oh, la! Fun. It's too it's too dang hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> My wig almost caught on fire because <laughs> <laughs> we did that show outside at a fort, uh, Prickett's Fort, seventeen seventy six, and there was an actual fort like built out there so uh, outdoor theater and sometimes they would do reenactments you know <laughs> and uh <laughs> the cannon would sometimes go up yeah <laughs> <laughs> and we'd be like i guess we should hurry voting or something. <laughs> <It was> just... <laughs> See, that's that's what's fun though when you can like on the fly <laughs> work with them, you know yeah i'm like that's... um I guess we should do our voting or, you know, people are going to razzle us. <laughs> the fist. Razzle, razzle. <laughs> That's awesome. But uh, what do you call it? Um, the mm, I did improvisation a lot, too. Nice. Uh, as part of the improvisation troops. And um, I would always get like just weird suggestions. And uh I think like one time, uh, what was the one of my say? Oh, I was, and that's when I did my first voiceover. I was like, it was, uh, the scene was Hulk Hogan and Macho Man Randy Savage go shopping for their wives for Valentine's Day. <laughs> go. <laughs> right? Oh my God. <laughs> that's a But, uh, what do you call it? Um, so uh, I did the voice and I was like, I don't think you should uh, be touching that uh, dress there, there, Hulkster, because I uh, need it for uh, Miss Elizabeth. <laughs> if you don't take your paws off of it, I'm going to drop to the, come to the top of the clotheslines and I'm going to drop the elbow on you, brother. <laughs> That's impressive. I yeah. I don't I don't think I could do improv like that. I would just be like my brain would just go like like the dial tone and be like, what do I do? What yeah. Do I do? <laughs> well, the, the thing is, is doing Randy Macho Man Savage, the voice hurts, you know, because it's yeah. very guttural. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. So I only like to do as as needed, because then he 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 dies out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but. Uh, uh, my friend was like Hulk Hogan. He goes, let me tell you something, brother. I don't think you... <laughs> and I don't know what you're going to do when I buy this for my lady and I drop the 24 inch pythons on you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was like tug of war over one dress and then lots of flexing. <laughs> That's I love that. That's awesome. And then I think I let him hit me with the leg drop or something like that. Just to end <laughs> But Hulk right. Hogan was uh, the wrestler. Um, and then we had uh, Macho Man. Um, who was the other one? There was always someone I would always get. I always had a character that was narcole and had narcolepsy. <laughs> nice. So it would be like, where's Dan? On the bus. I go, good. I'm going to, I guess, get off the bus. Or, something, you know? <laughs> or, or on a plane or on a ship. <laughs> <laughs> And just, I would always just <laughs> fall down <laughs> for the three count. <laughs> oh, God. Mm, love it. <laughs> there was, um, there was a show we did. Um, this was, this was way back. Um, I... <laughs> Many moons ago. <laughs> ago. I know. I think there was a, a middle school. It was like oh, an eighth grade, third grade. Long like time that. ago. A long time ago. Um, <laughs> and there was a show that 
there um it was beanie and the bamboozling book machine ah <laughs> dorothy because the person that played dorothy they got sick or something so they called yes. <laughs> they were like hey you have like a week can you be can you learn on the lines and i'm like okay yeah. you know because i just <laughs> i was just what you did you know <laughs> there's this there was a scene yeah. where dorothy had to pour a bucket of water on the wicked witch of the west oh no <laughs> like, well, like melting things well yeah. what you were supposed to do <laughs> was you were supposed to um project the water next to her and oh. then go off and then she would do like the whole you know melt yeah. that <laughs> I didn't realize that I was supposed to go to the right of her. I oh, thought no. I was supposed to just go for it. So yes. I, the <laughs> opening night, I'm all excited. I'm like, take that. And she's soaked. Yo. And went out and I just heard her. She's like, <laughs> what did you do? And I was like, oh my oh, God, no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so we went backstage and she's like, yeah. I understand you only had a week to fill in this character, she said, but oh, yeah. obviously someone didn't tell you that you needed to do this. And I felt so bad. I'm like, I am oh, yes. so sorry. Oh my God. So that was like <laughs> my one improv that went really bad. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. And so uh, is there anything else you want to say as we wrap it up on Dana Palooza today? So uh, because it is the spooky season, um, <laughs> I don't know why I have to do that. It's spooky season. Um, so I, yes, the haunting is over that you see in the little, the little bars going across the screen. That is my goth rock anthem that I did okay. with um, UK artists Sam Haynes and Gary Bennett. Mm -hmm. um, it was definitely different for me because it was a little more like kind of like that classic rock sort of feel. Mm -hmm. It's still got sort of the undertones of the spookiness with like ghosts and graveyards and such. Um, but it has a really cool message about, you know, breaking free from your insecurities and people that hold you back and all that kind of stuff. So it's like a power song kind of thing, like the Phoenix rising. Um, so that's been really exciting. We did a music video for it, which is on my website. Um, it's almost at 10,000 views, which I'm like, Oh, we're so close. Um, and then tomorrow I will be releasing a spooky EP album that's going to have six different tracks. Five of them are all instrumental. And then the sixth one is a song that I wrote. Um, the lyrics, the, you know, everything was all done by me. And so that's coming out tomorrow, which I'm super excited for. So, and that'll also be on my website. So people can go on there. Alrighty then. Yay. Well, that wraps it up for uh, Dana Palooza. Stay Woo! tuned. And November, we will have more guests in the 200th episode. Have a good night. Congrats on 200.